Hello, my name is Paula Fortesa. I'm a French MP representing French people living in Latin America and the Caribbean. I come from Argentina. We're here today at the Library of the National Assembly uh, and I'm going to talk to you about how to modernize National Assembly. We thought it would be a nice symbol of a union between tradition and modernity. Since the beginning of my political engagement, I, I was working on digital regulation, on transparency, on citizen participation. I was, for instance, in charge of translating GDPR in uh, French law. I was responsible for a working group uh, at the National Assembly on digital democracy and new ways of participation. And today we work with my team on a new initiative that we think is key to fight political mistrust, democratic disengagement and institutional crisis. We call this Open Parliament, Parlement Ouvert, and this strategy is organized around three big principles, transparency, participation, and collective experimentation. I'm going to detail each of these elements and give you concrete examples of our action. Regarding transparency, I think it's our duty as MPs to give clear information, clear data to our fellow citizens so they can understand our legislative activity. For instance, I put my agenda online where you can see every meeting that I have with my team, with the electors, with the lobbies. You can see my international travels. You can see uh, my activity at the National Assembly, uh, the role I play in committees, in auditions. I also put my expenses online in open data so that you can see every use that I make of public money. I try to convince my, my colleagues to do the same and we are developing a kit, an open parliament kit, to help them do this easily with ready-to-use tools uh, that are open source and that can be translated in different languages and used in different parliaments around the world. Regarding citizen participation, we launched an initiative with Mathieu Orphelin, one of my colleagues, that's called Question Citoyenne, Citizen Issues. French MPs have the power to ask questions to the government and the government is in the obligation to respond. Citizens don't have this power, so we thought we could collect the questions that citizens have on an online platform and give them the answers they are waiting for. So we used an open source software called Your Priorities, developed in Ireland, uh, to build this platform. We today have 30 MPs that have joined the initiative. We have over a thousand questions online, 2,000 uh, people that are engaging in debates on this platform, and we think it's a great example of, of how we can institutionalize uh, this kind of civic tech experiments. Another project we've worked on is to put in place a consultation platform that can be used by every MP that's working on a report or on a deal. And we've used Democracy OS, which is an open source software that was developed in Argentina. And we use this platform, for instance, for energetic transition, for the role of women in science, for uh, how citizens can be associated to the legislative process. It's been a real success. Regarding collective experimentation, we really think that collaborating with communities, with civil society, with association, is a key part of the modernization of an institution. So with my team, we launched what we call the Bureau Vert, the open desk or open office, let's say, uh, where we invite everyone that wants to come and work with us on tools uh, to come and see us. So we have civic techs, uh, developers, data scientists, association or uh, even curious citizens that come every Friday to my office 
and we work on these on these tools and new methods for citizen participation. Some examples of what we've developed there is, for instance, a platform that we used a website uh, during the GDPR. The GDPR was a very technical text where we have to jungle between lots of documents in order to understand the big picture. And here we crowdsourced the links between these documents so that we could navigate uh, between all the elements that we needed to understand this, this text. And it was very used by my colleague MPs, uh, by the administration, administrators of the National Assembly, uh, it was really useful for everyone working on this uh, bill. Another example is a data visualization that we did on the national budget that is, was also useful uh, for MPs when they are debating uh, and voting the national budget. They could understand the impact of new expenses that could be introduced through amendments on the global equilibrium of this budget. In this, uh, with this community, we also organized two big hackathons at the National Assembly, one on budget transparency uh, that was co-organized with the Ministry of Finance, and one on uh, the national debate that was taking place uh, at the beginning of this year. From January to March, the French government launched a huge debate called the Grand Débat National in response to the Yellow Vest movement. We put in place different channels for people to participate. There was an online platform, there were town hall meetings, conferences with citizens on different topics, ecology, democracy, public services, fiscal policy, this great debate was a success. We had over 2 million contributions online. We had 10,000 town hall meetings that were organized. And this was a picture of what people were feeling or thinking about their country at that moment. So it had a huge value for researchers, for associations, uh, for even curious citizens that wanted to understand uh, what was happening with, with their country at that moment of time. So for me it was very important that these contributions were released in open data so that everyone could analyze uh, what ha has been said. With this open data we organized a huge hackathon at the National Assembly that was very interesting to show that there were different methods to analyze this data. There were methods that were more automatized, using AI, using machine learning, but there were also methods that were relying on collective uh, intelligence. For instance, one of the projects that came out of this hackathon was uh, a crowdsourcing of the tagging and of the analysis of these uh, different contributions. And it was showing that if someone was really reading what people had said, uh, the analysis was more precise and that we could all collectively uh, be part of this synthesis of the great national debate. So I really think that engaged policy policymakers, engaged legislators need to be like Trojan horses trying to make change from within and uh, modernize institutions, building bridges with the outside world, with civil society, with associations, and trying to foster this openness uh, culture. What we want to do next is to continue putting the citizen at the center of the political decision. We want to give them the initiative in the political agenda setting. We want to give them the initiative uh, in the bill procedure, in the amendments. We want to put in place a petition platform at the National Assembly. We need to go further and give citizens the possibility 
to engage at each step of the legislative and political process. We really want to collaborate at the international level on this kind of initiatives and we really count on you in order to do that.